All right, guys, unboxing review video for the GotchaFix um, multimeter oscilloscope waveform generator three and one. Uh, quick disclaimer, they did reach out to us and sent this out to us. Um, so uh, even though uh, we are doing this review, I'm going to give you my honest opinion on the device as I do on all my reviews, guys. I'm definitely interested in uh, the oscilloscope. Um, definitely use the multimeter a lot here in the automotive setting, guys, you know, on this channel. And we're going to um, check that waveform generator out as well. All right. Here we are with the main unit. I like that we can just carry this like that. Probably put our leads in there as well. Uh, user manual. Okay. And... Um, Oh yeah, this is the stuff we need right here. This is the simple um, instructions. Oh yeah, this is what we need. This is what every product should come with this, you know? So this is our little cheat sheet. So this is what we're gonna do to test this stuff. Nice, nice, okay. All right. And the back is for everybody else, okay. And we've got our leads. Um, like a uh, standard multimeter leads okay and usb charging cable i'm assuming type c all right so let's see pull this out okay there is the device guys all right Here's our ports, amperage, um, negative or positive, okay, and you can see everything we can handle there. All right, our cheat sheet told us about using these. Nice rubberized um, case, looks like this is a stand possibly as well. And yes, it is, there is some grip on the stand and there is some... Um, some kind of, uh, it's not too loose, so it will not fall out. As you can see, it sits there pretty good. So it's not just gonna fall out the stand. And at the top, looks like maybe, is there a charging port here or something? No, that's just uh, part of the frame, I believe. This looks like our charging port. And there it is, USB-C. So that would tell me this is a rechargeable built-in battery. Let's go ahead and turn this unit on. Uh, let's do volts. Okay. Okay. Wow. So that right there told me the way it turned on. Uh, there's, uh, not just your standard multimeter circuitry here. And we've got like a, uh, the display we've got, the digital display, it looks really good. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, we are lit up here as well. Pretty fancy. Um, this might not just be your average multimeter guys. Let me see. Okay, we're going to do a quick voltage test test on this uh, 12 volt battery right here. So um, let's see here. Here we got our leads in, and it's right at 11.98 DC volts. Let me pull that lead off and back in. Settles pretty quickly at that. Uh, I'm going to try this uh, <clears throat> multimeter that I kind of use uh, here at the lab. Same test. Okay. And sometimes you can have a uh, slight variation due to your leads and different factors, but it uh, looks like they're reading pretty much identical. So I would uh, consider that pretty, pretty accurate. Just noticed our, our battery logo here. So it looks like we're pretty charged, came with the, with the charge out the box. Okay, let's get to the fun stuff, guys. Let me see, I think it was auto with holding that down. Oh, okay, here we go with the um, os oscilloscope function. Okay, here I am at the oscilloscope function, and I noticed something. If you look right here, um, as you can see, volts uh, RMS average, I'm like hovering at around four four volts, and I'm not even on anything. Here are the leads. Um, I don't know if there's a setting that I've got wrong I need to adjust. Uh, of course, we didn't read the manual, right? Okay, uh, but I'm going to plug it to this battery, so we should be at 12 volts. And it's showing 14.5 um, RMS. So it's like it's four volts, just um, 
where two two plus volts are just kind of floating from somewhere or a setting. I'm gonna have to check that. All right, I still go in the manual, but we do have a volt option here. So I hit that, and we can adjust, uh, I guess, on the scale what it's reading. So we can put it up or down, and let's see if we can get that close to zero, I guess, zero it out. Don't know why it was like that. Um, okay, that seems to be the maximum. Let me see. Okay, so with the adjustment I have, now when I hit the battery, as you can see, I'm pulling it off and on the, of the load. It's coming up to 11.8 volts RMS, which looks about right. So we're, that's more of an accurate reading. So I'm just um, doing this, by the way. All right, so <clears throat> I played with this a bit to um, go through the settings. So when we go to time, I've got it set to uh, 100 milliseconds right now. So uh, we hit time, and that gives us these arrows right here. So I can change the time base right here to 50. Uh, 100 is fine for what I want to do right now hit exit and we can go to voltage and I've got it set to 5 volts per division right now. The reason is <laughs> I want to test and see. I'm sending a square wave. I wrote a quick program and I'm sending a square wave um, where it's also uh, changing the duty cycle of this LED. Um, so um, I wanted, I'll put the probes on the legs of this LCD uh, and this should be 5 volts coming in right here at this rail and we should see the square wave pattern of this blinking basically, right? So I've got my positive coming in on this rail of the breadboard and my negative, of course, they're on the blue side that you see there. So that's how I got it set up. All right, so hopefully you should be able to see uh, the scope and uh, what I'm doing here. So I'm hitting that positive rail and I'm hitting that negative rail and there it is. So that square wave is our, uh, whoops, it came off. It's our LED blinking right there. So um, looks pretty cool. Looks like it's updating as it should. All right. So one thing I got to note, uh, <clears throat> while I was going through those settings to test this and figure this out, uh, it kind of just locked up. So when I tried to read on anything, uh, it would not register any of the uh, voltage. I just turn it off and back on and it reset everything. I don't know if it's something I did wrong or if there's there was some kind of issue where it locked up or I don't know. Just no, putting that out there. While I was checking, I kind of did it again. So now I'm putting it on the 12 volt battery and it looks like it's not registering any voltage. Uh, also, I put it back on the LED and nothing is happening. So I don't know if it's, I'm doing something wrong or if it's like pretty much locking up that I'm not sure of but if I do just uh, I guess turn it off and on it'll reset it but that's just something I'm noticing right here could be me though okay now to go over to the waveform it's holding this one down waveform generator and um, we're defaulted at square wave and of course we've got our options down here to change our pattern and of course you would need to go over to the output here on your that would be the output for the waveform right <clears throat> so um we can change the wave to uh yeah so you can see we've got sine wave square and ramp okay so um we can change our frequency of that wave okay up to 50 kilohertz all right and our duty cycle can be from 10 percent up to 90 percent and our voltage, um, 0.1 up to 3 volts on that waveform. Okay, um, I'd have to put my scope on this one to uh, see our waveform. I don't doubt that uh, this is not working. All right, let's check uh, capacitance, capacitance. And we put it over here to this mode here. And of course, your lead needs to be right here. And of course, the negative side is designated as negative here. And this is a 100 UF capacitor, right? 50 volts. So um, I'm going to hit my negative here. Hoping you can see that. 
and my positive, and it should be able to tell us this the capacitances for this uh, capacitor. And it's reading at 103. So that's within error. So these can be, these can vary a little bit in how they read. So those read capacitors, guys. Okay, that's gonna probably wrap this up for the uh, unboxing part of this review. I'm gonna actually uh, test it in the field. I'll probably have some videos on the automotive um, side of using this device. I really like it, it's pretty cool. I like the display. Um, only thing I saw was when I do go to the, um, uh, this function here, the, uh, maybe I gotta put it on two volts. And if I hit the auto and we go to um, the oscilloscope, sometimes it seems like, I don't know if it's something I'm doing wrong. Of course, I didn't read the manual. Somebody's gonna chime in down there if I did something wrong, but uh, it would kind of go off. I'd have to go in and out. But outside of that, everything looks good. I really like the unit, it's compact. Um, I like the case it comes in, just we'll pull it, go where I need to go, do what I need to do. Um, but that's it, the Gotcha Fix um, 3-in-1 oscilloscope, multimeter, and um, waveform generator.